So we're doing a 360 as you have seen. Uh, we were doing a live, but this 360 is awesome. Now remember that in a 360, you can basically scroll or around or move your device uh, depending on what point of view you'd like to see. Now, extremely important to understand, I'm standing between the patient's legs facing the patient uh, towards her head. In this case, what we're doing is we're standing in front of a monitor. And as you can see, if you scroll around, you're going to see a monitor in front of me and my assistant surgeon. This is where I'm seeing the view of the interior of the abdominal, interior abdominal cavity. And this is where we're performing the actual surgery. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to see the patient's abdomen because she's lying immediately. Lying immediately below the 360 camera. Now, as you take note, you're going to see that we have several instruments inserted in the patient's abdomen. These instruments are called uh, trocars, and these trocars basically keep the gas inside. Now, I want you to scroll down to the patient's abdomen because you're going to see that I'm pulling the patient's stomach, partial stomach that has been divided through the skin, through the abdominal wall. Uh, I'm holding it now and I'm going to ask my assistant to inflate it so you can see exactly how much stomach we removed. Okay. Now, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and reinsert all the instruments and now what we're going to do is as you can see in the screen the patient screen we have a new stomach much smaller stomach now i want to uh i want to show you how how thin this new stomach is it's around the width of a somebody's index finger so what, what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you on this 360, an instrument, and then we're gonna go ahead and insert that instrument so you can compare the size of the new stomach. So, we're gonna see this instrument, and you can see it right here. Uh, just scroll towards me, toward, towards my hand. Now, this instrument is around the width of my thumb. So I'm gonna go ahead, and now let's all look at this instrument inside the abdominal cavity. It's basically, this instrument is basically the width of this new stomach. The stomach comes from up here where it joins the esophagus. You can see the heart beating through the diaphragm. That's a beautiful sight, look at that. That's the heart beating. Um, this is the liver and we're raising it with a liver rod, a metal rod. Um, and then this is the furthest part of the stomach all the way into the intestine. This beautiful thing is the pancreas. Uh, the pancreas is basically uh, one of our organs that is uh, essential to digestion and to metabolic processes. So that's a very important organ right there. It lies behind, it resides behind the stomach. So it's extremely uh, well protected. So what I'm doing right now is now you're going to go ahead and if you scroll back to the screen, you will be able to see that I am suturing inside the patient's abdomen. Uh, I'm using several instruments and what I'm doing is I'm using suture material to over sew a staple line. Why am I doing this? At OCC, we've been doing surgery for 30 plus years. And uh, yeah, we're pretty old, uh, but a lot of experience. And what we've learned over the years is that we want to produce a safe and effective procedure that's durable. Uh, durable meaning that we don't want it to fail a couple of years down the road. We also want it to be safe. So what we're doing right here is we're over sewing the staple line. As we over sew the staple line, uh, I've always said that, I mean, uh, these uh, double seal sandwich bags must know something that we don't 
That's why they did a double seal, because they're not going to leak. Well, same thing with us. That's why we're doing a double seal here. The first seal is a staple line, and the second seal is the suturing process that not only seals this area so we don't have any unwanted leaking from the stomach, we also want to actually further calibrate this uh, patient's we have a small bleeder right there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull this all completely. As you can see, it's a pretty clean surgery, not the mouse. Um, this is a. I'm going to grab the needle and. We're going to correct it. Okay, as we were saying, this is a step we call microcalibration. Microcalibration is basically a step where not only is the staple line uh, intimately adhered to the calibration tube, which resides right now inside uh, the stomach. What we're doing now is we're further, there we go, there, we stopped the bleeder right there. And my assistant is helping me control that bleeder. And that basically is going to stop as we proceed. All right. So what we're doing now is over sewing. As we over sew, we are micro calibrating this procedure. Micro calibration means that you're getting a much better probability of uh, weight loss and of the desired results uh, simply because this step is essential in order to calibrate this whole procedure further. It's extremely important that a procedure be calibrated according to the patient's uh, weight, size, etc. And in this case, this sleeve is this is a sleeve procedure. This is a very simple, straightforward procedure where we are making a stomach much smaller. And that's basically it. But it's incredible how this smaller stomach in a matter of weeks dramatically changes the patient's uh, outcome, uh, patient well-being. So these patients usually have metabolic disease, meaning high cholesterol, high triglycerides, sleep apnea, they have uh, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, and all these things resolve in a matter of weeks. In other words, diseases that are known to last a lifetime with this type of metabolic procedure gets corrected in a matter of weeks. This is something that we now know as a scientific fact, and this is why this is called metabolic surgery, not just bariatric surgery. So it's extremely important for everybody to understand this procedure is done minimally invasive. So this patient will go back to the recovery room in around 10-15 uh, minutes as soon as we finish. Then after that the patient will be recovering uh, for around 30 minutes, then will be passed back to the room. And usually these patients are walking around a couple of hours after the surgical procedure. So all in all, the patient has been hospitalized for less than half a day, uh, had surgery, will be walking around, and will be discharged in less than 24 hours. This types of procedures is very simple and straightforward, but most importantly, patients always tell me, why didn't I do this sooner? That's the only regret. Because the, of the dramatic weight loss and wellness that ensues after uh, these types of metabolic techniques. So as you can see, we are proceeding to uh, finish this over suturing. This over suturing is an actually OCC exclusive. It's called a double buttress technique. And this technique it uh, was developed years ago simply because, well, it prevents these staple line bleeding. It reinforces the staple line to prevent leaks. It reinforces the staple line, which then turns into a durable procedure. 
and it micro calibrates the procedure, meaning that the procedure is fine tuned and adjusted for weight loss. All these things happen, and that's why we trademark the technique. And this is why we call this the improved gastric sleeve. ¿Me puedes retirar la zona un poquito? Dos centímetros, por favor. So we're progressing distally now. Again, you can scroll around anywhere. You can see my anesthesiologist removing the calibration tube partially. And I'll show you more as we progress distally when we're going to, when we remove this whole. Mm -hmm. One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to, you want to bury the staple line. You don't want to pinch it. Uh, okay, we're about to uh, come up to the few last stitches. ¿Cuánto llevamos de cirugía? So we've been in here for around 20 minutes from the start. And we're going to ask my anesthesiologist in just a couple of seconds to remove the tube, the calibration tube. So we've got a few more stitches to go. So one of the most important things if you're interested in surgery, well, this is a spectacularly quick and effective procedure. Uh, minimally invasive, as I said, all, all this is called keyhole surgery or laparoscopic surgery. And truth be told, my mama used to make me sew my socks, so that's why we learned how to do this really well. Um, we're going to ask anesthesia to remove the tube. As you can see, it's being removed as we speak. I'm going to make this last knot right here and anchor the suture. And then we're going to reintroduce that tube lightly. En la unión es apagogástrica, please. I'm going to cut this suture. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do something called the flat tire test. Uh, as you may imagine, it's exactly what it sounds like. You can see the tube going down the patient's throat all the way into the esophagus and into the stomach, into the new stomach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this abdominal cavity with water. And then that tube, that is a calibration tube, also has the ability to blow air down the patient's uh, esophagus all the way into the stomach. So we're going to ask our anesthesiologist, as you can scroll towards her area, vision, I'm going to ask her in a few seconds to blow up this stomach and it's going to, it's going to inflate the stomach underwater. The reasoning behind this is that we're testing for a defect in the staple line. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this underwater. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. And there you go. It's saltre. Inflate otra vez una vez más. We're going to inflate it one more time just so you can view. Look at that. Ready. That is done. We have inflated the stomach. Aspiración, por favor. Sí, posición. This is an extremely clean procedure. We finished uh, around 25 minutes. Está muy caliente esta agua, eh. Le van a cocinar los intestinos. Ven nomás. Está muy caliente. Sí. Okay, so we beautiful bloodless field, extremely, extremely beautiful procedure. And again, ya me inflaron el estómago, le hablaron a Manny. 
Come on. Okay. All right. And uh, we're going to aspirate the rest of the liquid, and that's basically the surgical procedure. We're going to we're going to leave my team finishing the rest of the procedure, which is closing the incisions. Okay. Closing the incisions and putting glue in the incisions uh, to finish the surgical procedure. So you can uh, watch the rest of the procedure at your leisure. All right. Uh, we finished the procedure. It's, uh, again, extremely quick safe and effective, this patient will go on to probably walk in the next two to three hours and lose a massive amount of weight and be probably at the best health she's had in her recent life. Thanks for watching and always follow us uh, on our social media platforms and please don't forget to share this video. Thank you again.